hateful, vindictive and small-minded? We shall see. I could keep this channel alive if I were prepared to lie, but why on earth would I do that? I resigned as a GP on a matter of principle. I resigned from my last newspaper column on a matter of principle. I'm not going to sell my soul to a platform which disrespects the truth. I shall now add YouTube to the list of organisations which I boycott, and I strongly suggest that you do too. There are, I believe, plenty of more honourable alternatives. I see no point in recording more videos for YouTube. They're taking them down for absolutely no good reason that I can see within hours of my putting them up. My videos take much time and effort to research, write and check, and it's frustrating and disappointing to see them being banned for what I think are political reasons. It's modern day book burning. YouTube is no longer a reputable site. Its commercially inspired intolerance is unacceptable. I described my views on freedom in an early video entitled Coronavirus, why did YouTube ban my video? Which they took down and then put back up. Perhaps because they felt embarrassed. I'm sad about this and I suspect that the opposition, the fans of Bill Gates, the 21st century would-be slave owners, will regard this as a victory for them. They would be mistaken to think that. I've been fighting lies and injustices for well over half a century and I'm not going away. I'm regrouping, looking for more favourable ground to continue the fight. For the time being I'm moving over to my own website where nothing is ever censored. At the moment we don't have the facility to put up videos but we'll continue to put up new articles every Wednesday and Sunday and at other times too and we're going to put up more leaflets that can be printed out and distributed. My wife, who's always been in charge of research, editing and production, and reining me in when I seem about to get carried away, will choose the appropriate platform. We're both driven by the need to help those who can't help themselves, especially children, the old, the disabled and the mentally ill.